Good day thinkers, thought leaders, progressives, and dreamers. I'm Craig the Writer Stewart, and this is So Much to Say YouTube TV. These are my thoughts in my voice on black shit, white shit, gay shit, and everything in between. Now, So Much to Say YouTube TV is the place that you come to learn and grow. So go ahead and hit the like button, the share button, and the subscribe button. And turn on that little bell so that you get a notification every single time that I go live or I upload something new. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Um, how far do I want it back? Yeah, like, I mean, where do you want... I only want it to kind of, like, peekaboo. Where do you want the rug to come? Like, like maybe... Let's pull it. So, let's say, for instance, how much do you want of this sort of show? Just maybe, like, about that much. So, down here. four or five... You got a couple blocks there. One, two, you want to have five or four? Let's try it at, um, let's try it here. Do you want four to show or you three to show? So maybe the bed is going with this one. Do I need help with somebody? Um, but it, it, it bring it down this way so it can be even on the sides, you know what I'm saying? On this side of the bed and on, on that side of the bed. Um, you ready? Hold on. Mike, we need your help. Oh, God. <laughs> It's going to be really simple. My eyes is burning, child. From what? You got me out of the Oh, from the pollen. Hell yeah. I so, told you, I was like, why should I get the Craig house? It's going to get worse. I don't have any allergy medicine. Oh, wait, Benadryl? Yeah, like, I got Dayquil. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Add me up there. All right, you tell me. Count it. So, wait, I think it needs to come over this way a little bit more. Is that about even? What are we doing? Uh, Lifting it? Uh, pull it down a little more. Yeah. I'm gonna lift it and then y'all, you just throw this under there. I need your feet off the rug, though. Oh. Well, I'm gonna need help. Well, I, I, yeah, I was gonna see him lift one side and not uh, yeah. Ready? I'm on three. three. You all in the room. All right, step over. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, Craig, come on. That's all, Craig. Wait a minute, let it down. Let it down. <laughs> <laughs> what are you struggling with? Because. Ryan was like behind me. I'm like, step oh. over. Okay. All right, wait. I'm got my side under the, almost on the head. On the carpet, I'm like, I can't do anything. Okay, you ready to lift again? All right. Yeah. One, three. Oh, put up, put up. Ooh. There you go. Put up again. You know, you left. This time before you had a cake, then it comes to the table. Oh. What is Ryan doing for Christ's sake? It's the middle part. Uh, oh, don't drop it. I'm not. Okay. Oh, your children ain't oh. Father. Oh. It's okay. still in right. exactly. You got to Well, under the bed. This exactly. bed is a heavy bitch. Who bought it? Me. What's wrong? <laughs> we need help. We need well, your. Look, the way me. he sounded, don't you dare touch this if you're going through what you're going through. He right. Like, we need your OCD. Yeah. It's not straight. That's why we need your OCD. Because you got to lift it back up. All right, so maybe I can. I can the <laughs> You see, my side is fine. He only. Exactly. Come well, on, Craig, man. you can't do that. You got to lift and somebody pull. Lift Good. and pull. You got to lift and pull. Lift from the middle and see what happens. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, my God. You were pulling over there? Hold on. You, you, like you, you ain't pulling on the If you don't right. pull that over there, it won't go further. Hold on. Hold on. He's trying to ask me questions. No, it won't go further. Like, <laughs> you got to unravel it. Do you have like a uh, something? Get on that end, Craig. A uh, what? What do you call that? You got to undo uh, this. You know. Um, yeah. Undo not that. Box spring, but what do you call that? Uh, um, this is a tempur knife. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. You sound like me with that. Yes! <laughs> Yes, hell yeah. That's my word. This is a tip repeated, honey. honey. Okay. okay. What I'm saying is the thing that's like on the ground. A mat, a bitch for, uh, what's the that box called? Box frame. frame. Like the thing, because that's why it's not going further. The low profile. Yeah, if we're just lifting the frame. He's right. You're, we're just lifting the frame of the bed, but he's saying what he's on. Can this come off? 
Uh-uh. We, we ain't gonna go That there. has to be unproven. <laughs> Ouch. Ah. Mm-mm. Okay. Um, but how I get stuck over there now on my side? That's, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Because you did something wrong. Oh, he didn't lift this. It's oh, up. I see, but Ryan, the frame is all part of the frame, though. Uh-huh. So even when I lift the... Yeah. If he lift this... He's going to get off the car. First of all, he and he on them sneakers. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Me too, but I ain't step on yeah. it. <laughs> Okay. You, it's like the uh, the stake. In the oh middle. yeah. It was stuck. I can't. So if you, right you lift this part again, you can pull it down. Yeah, here, pull it this way. Hold on. Well, let me. Should I fix the bags now? The bed is crooked. That's gonna be crooked for a minute. Uh, right? How do you see the bed being? Crooked? The frame is crooked. And where's the dresser going? Right here. And where's the stool going? That go, I'm selling that bench unless you want it. Can we just not take this top you mattress off? Put that in the. Let me turn this fan on. What? Why don't you put it in the underhouse? Let me have a remote for the fan. <laughs> it's that one in the middle. Is this being recorded? Because this is not working. <laughs> <laughs> this part is definitely going on TV. Now, mind you, now mind you, he said he wanted to go to this block. Hold on. He, huh? What do you mean? It's going to have to be pulled more that he way. He said he wanted no, only this like, show. I want to push it up some. Yeah, oh, yeah. so you want it like in the middle. Yeah, yeah. so just a, it's peeking out in the bottom and then on the sides. Hold on, hold on. You need to move that. What is that? I know what's in there. What? It's heavy. You know what's in there. Uh-oh. Oh, water. Oh. <laughs> what you thought was in here? <laughs> this bitch is crazy. Well, it's water in the pillow. Well, bitch, I'm like, well, what's in there? This. That's what I want. I'm like, well, what the fuck is it? I thought it was here? the piece. The what? Oh, the gun? Uh-huh. Oh, no, that's in the nice thing. <laughs> I don't want my fingerprints on anything that's right. been a murder weapon. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Look, look how hard it fell. That's why I thought that's you what sleep on there? It's comfortable when you sleep on it. It's got like, water in it. Yeah. That way your neck still hurts? We need to move this over here. What, what, you said your neck be hurt. The mattress? It's I slept on two pillows by mistake one day. Oh, no, this, this, is foam. this thing's heavy. Okay. Oh, we gotta move the mattress? I suggest we take this off. How my do rag get up under Where here? Your panties from under- <laughs> do you not know what's on your bed? I didn't know it was down there. Right. Walk, walk with me. Walk with me. I'm walking. Okay, you're not walking. Walk. What you say? Walk I'm doing the Mary Mary, Mary walk. Me, please. That's as far as I'm going. There we go. Now, nah, bitch, I'm locked in. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully you had a good person. Well, you hold on. Can you hold right there for a moment? Well, I'm watching. Oh, uh, we might need him. <laughs> oh, well, come on from back there. Oh. See what I mean? Oh. Okay. Be That's careful. Why I no, it was this fine. He was careful. He was just making all the noise. Oh, Ryan just kept saying, be careful. Oh, oh, oh. Ryan just abandoned his side. <laughs> I did my part. Oh, you ready? What's my job is done? Okay. Who turned yeah. the fan off? Because yeah. I need to make sure y'all don't hit nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, you know. I feel like it can happen. Ooh. Okay. Now you see you got a better picture. You turn that fan on? Yeah. <laughs> you kind of look like him with that little hat on. There we go. We that little derby. Hold on. Well, it's the big boot. I'm stepping. Oh, yeah. This Bitch, okay. I can't stand in the wonder little <laughs> It's the boot. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh. All right. Put, yeah, a little bit more. I like how you not helping. I, well, I'm looking. My part. Hey, is, she's supervising. My part is. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh. Well, hold that. Yeah. <coughs> well, if I know this was happening, I should have just came tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't sign up for any of this. Oh. Oh, sorry. We were trying to straighten. Really? Oh. Okay. Man. Right. You can let it go. I got it. Go Sit right here. Do you want to sweep up under here before we <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to dust? You want hold to on, hold on. on. Yeah, pull it. Pull what? The rug because it's not straight. Well, which way it need to go? You need Your to way. Up to the and one. pull it over towards you. This way? Oh, you yeah. know, it's a bed. Because it's... He got his shoe on the carpet. I know at this point I can't. <laughs> he can't control everything. Well, he okay, I think it's fine now. Uh-uh, that's a little crooked. 
Straighten that out over there. Wait, turn it this way. I'll pull it towards you. Yeah. Is that straight? Look straight over here. It looks Rain. straight. Once we straighten it. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. This house is hot. This house is hot. Hold on. Yeah, now it's good. Okay. You Tighten it up over there, Craig. You got the bubble out. Right over there, right here. Yeah. Okay. Did he pull it? Did I not see any pool? Okay. All that, it's still not straight. You don't still. That side is longer. Is it? Stand over there yeah. where Mike is and look at it. You'll That's see. True. It is? Okay. Yeah, it is longer. It's just a little bit. You can look at it. The bed is all the way pushed back. Yeah. Okay, Craig, now pull on that. Ah, ah, ah. The top part. And see, that's why I'm saying you needed a mattress pad because this thing going to be sliding if a you mattress. Mattress pad. I mean, a, a rug pad. That's better. Because it's going to still buckle. Well, that's why I was going to put the. Um, Things up underneath to hold it down. Do you like have those? Yeah, they're in that pantry right there in the hall. Okay. Are you just stepping all on the ground? My shoe clean. <laughs> but I had to take my shoes off. Okay. <laughs> I got desperate, Ryan. I'm sorry. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Mike, to just yeah, let it down. You have to lift it at the head because otherwise it's going to slide off. That's what friends are for. Through, through okay. good times. Keep shining. <laughs> okay, help him with the big pad. Right. With the what? Uh, <coughs> slide. I'm like this. Oh. Oh. That's cute. My God. Say, okay, okay. Over here. Once you put the pads on it. To keep this yeah, let me straight. grab those. Because I still see some buckles in the middle. My work here is done. Uh-uh. Hey, Amen. Right, so. Craig? Yeah, because for the door to swing back. Huh? Use. <laughs> oh, y'all gone? <laughs> We're on our 15 minute break. Uh, oh, y'all gone? <laughs> Good day thinkers, thought leaders, progressives, and dreamers. I'm Craig the Writer Stewart and I'm inviting you to join my Patreon. Don't know what a Patreon is? It's my official video diary with only exclusive content that you won't see anyplace else. It's easy to join. Just visit patreon.com forward slash Craig the Writer Stewart. Here's what you'll find on my Patreon. A day in my life, whether that's dinner with friends or a typical work day. Live Q&As with members of my Patreon about each episode of the T.S. Madison experience and what I was really thinking. I'll even bring you on vacation with me. The video will make you think that you are right there. And last but not least, for all of my aspiring writers, I give you firsthand, one-on-one, -on -one, personalized attention, answering all of your questions about publishing and self-publishing. So what are you waiting for? Join now, swipe up, or visit www.patreon.com forward slash Craig the Writer Stewart. I'll see you soon. Oh, and one more thing. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's youtube.com forward slash Craig the Writer. Do it now. What's up, everybody? I'm Craig the Writer Stewart. And I'm your boy, Keon Stafford. Welcome to our exclusive video diary only on Patreon. Where we give you exclusive shit. Behind the scenes shit. Where we just talk shit. And every first of the month, your debit card gets hit. Thank you for subscribing. I was involved briefly with a married man who believed he had the courage to leave his wife to be with me and to live his truth. This isn't the typical story of a married man promising to leave his wife for a secret lover. Rather, this is a story in part about a gay man who knew he was gay before he got married, but chose to marry a woman because he didn't know how to break free. Rocky and I met on a gay social media site three months after I returned to the East Coast to live, and just 11 months after he was married. 
At the time we met, he was living and working in Dubai as a contractor for the government on a military base while his wife was stationed in Tallahassee, Florida, where they had a home. In one of the first messages he sent me, Rocky shared that he was married, but that he had regrets. He explained that he had come out to his mother and siblings when he was 18 years old. He said that to listen to more of One Thing for Certain, Two Things for Sure, a memoir continued, visit audible.com. One of the best parts of life is when you can admit the truth to yourself about yourself. Cyberspace is a world where one can become something he isn't, but everything he dares to be. I wasn't interested in getting attached to anyone, and I knew I wouldn't take anyone I met online seriously. I had multiple screen names to increase my chances of meeting someone attractive. The majority of the profiles noted HIV negative under status, but I knew better from the work I had done in the HIV community. I knew one out of three black gay men was positive. The messages I found in my inbox validated me in my depression. In some strange way, they reinforced that I was worthy and deserving. My days consisted of waking up and logging on to see how many messages had accrued overnight. Months passed before I got honest with my therapist about what was happening with me. And before I knew it, I heard myself say, I've been having sex with people I meet online. To listen to more of Words Never Spoken in Memoir, visit audible.com.